Hi, Crawl here. So this is hopefully going to be the last video that I got to do in this series. First of all, we installed Python and build tools. Then we installed FFmpeg or the other way around. So we should be completely set up for every module you can build or so you would think, right? Now here, th there's one module that people want to build because they want to um, have pictures generated uh, on, on the fly rather. So they want to fill in their own content. Now people use the canvas module for that. And sometimes it just doesn't work out as you would expect it to. On OS X on, on, or on Linux, it's very easy to just install the packages that you need because you just need a uh, Mac ports or homebrew, or you just use the, uh, the package manager of any Linux distrib uh, distribution you have. Now on Windows, on the other hand, it's, it's a bit more iffy. So if I were to install, whether I do NPM I or I do like yarn, there is pre-built uh, binaries for certain node versions, but you know, it depends on how fast they're updated. So sometimes you update your node version to like node 10 and then I do yarn add canvas and it just, you know, it, it will start to attempt to build, but it won't work. Now, the reason why this won't work is because we don't have the uh, necessary libraries to build this because we need libraries on top of the MS build that we installed and we need libraries on top of Python that we installed. Now, how are we gonna do this on Windows? Very easy. First, what you need to do is you need to visit the site, which is just a uh, node canvas. You can just type that in, uh, in, in Google or whatever. And there is two things we can do here. Either we can install the next version, which is not what I did currently because the next version has the pre-builds, but I kind of like wanted to show you guys how to get it, like how to get everything. Because if I would do, I'm pretty sure at least, if I would do yarn add canvas add next, it would just it would just give me a package, right? Or maybe not, because there's no pre-builds. No, it would just give me the package. So this is obviously not what I wanted to do for for the sake of the video, because if, if it gives me the pre uh, the the, the pre-build, I there is no reason for me to like show you why and how to do this and set this correctly up. So what we need to do is we just install the normal one to check if we have all the dependencies, but you still might want to use the next one. So this is completely dependent upon to you. To get this to work, we just scroll down a bit, go to the window section. It says instructions on our wiki. We click on this. Uh, we do not have uh, chocolate or whatever, however that's pronounced, uh, because we don't use any package manager on, on Windows. At least I don't, I don't feel like it's, it's the right thing to do. We should install GTK2, uh, which the Cairo library needs. So we need to install two and not three because three is missing the lib uh, PNG, which we need. So we just click on the Win64 or Win32 link here, depending on which architecture you have. It downloads the bundle. And we do the same thing for libjpeg turbo. We should need that for 2.0. Uh, so we just do that too. We just need to open that and um, yes, whatever. And download the latest one here. Now that we have both of this, we're pretty much already done. It tells us to install GTK to uh, GTK. And it tells us to install libjpeg to libjpeg turbo direct on the C drive like we did it before. So for libjpeg, we just do that. Okay, we need to accept that, I'm sorry for that. So now it says libjpeg turbo C, uh, GCC <clears throat> and it should be, well, you see, that's where the whole thing is getting wonky because it says to install 1.5.1. We'll just try this out. If it doesn't work, we will use the other one. I'm a bit unprepared in this, in this topic right now. And for, for this one, it should be super easy to just be a zip. Yeah, what we do here is we just uh, extract that and then we rename the folder to what was it, GTK. Yeah, that should just work then, whenever that's done. So on our C drive, we do have the libjpeg to which is a C now. We might as well just need to rename it, but we will see how that goes. 
and this one is called GTK. And we just cut that out and put it on there. And now after we, we don't even need to restart the shell for this one because we don't need to put it in path. So now we should just be able to add canvas again and it should be able to build if it looks like it's building and it's not erroring. Yeah, so that's pretty much all you need to do. I hope that was some kind of informative and, and it wasn't really hard to do it, to be honest. Is there, if there ever is an error with like uh, libjpeg tuber or if there ever is an error while you do that, just try to rename libjpeg tuber to like, uh, I don't know, without the GCC at the end. Maybe that will help, but I'm pretty sure they're smart enough to detect that. Yeah, that's it. I hope that was helpful. See you next time.